everybody. Welcome back. Today we have a new video. We are going to discuss the top five things in season one of Call of, du of Call of Duty Mobile. Coming in at number five, we have the limited time ticket store. This was a fantastic idea by Call of Duty Mobile. You could play games, get tickets, even double those tickets, up to a thousand of them, and you could claim them for rewards from bundles that had a, an epic weapon to some epic nunchucks to uh, another bundle that had some battle royale uh, vehicles um, and even a crate if you wanted to 10 spins in the crate not bad call of duty mobile fantastic idea and coming in at number five coming in at number four big head blitz now this was funny and I think it got a whole lot more play than I expected to originally so it all starts out with uh, the snowman and they have uh, scarves on or hoodies or something and it all starts out with the uh, rabbit snowman and um, you're able to obtain the next one the tiger snowman through or big head blizzard through um, some featured events and then lastly you could get the dragon big head blizzard through playing a ton and I mean a ton of games to unlock it. I think it took 2,200 points to unlock the uh, dragon character, but you do run around with a lobster smashing people. It was a whole lot of fun. I hope they bring this back in more things like this. And Number three, we have Firing Range Remastered. Now, I have not talked to anybody that has not loved the update for this map. I had a lot of people tell me it looks like the original one, a lot closer to the original one that I remember from Black Ops, I think it was four. It is absolutely fantastic. They opened up the windows, they changed the color scheme, they made the sun a little bit different, all of the different shading. I am absolutely a fan, I love it, and I hope they do more maps the same way. Coming in at number two, finally, after being stuck at 150 player levels, we finally got it increased to 200. Two awesome weapons were included with this, the CBR4 Cosmos at level 175. And then when you make it to level 200, you get a pretty cool Dark Matter to complete or add on to your collection of Dark Matter, Krig 6. I think we've seen a number of both of these running around in rank so far this season, so I believe that most of the players have enjoyed these rewards as well. And last but certainly not least, my number one favorite thing added in Season 1 of 2023 Call of Duty Mobile is the Collection tab. This finally is here. It gives me a place to look at everything that I have been collecting over the years, from mythic weapons to legendary weapons to epic weapons to rare weapons. The same thing with the characters, mythical to legendary to epic to rare. It even does the same thing with your... This even does the same same thing with your battle royale vehicles from the uh, surfboard to the helicopter wherever it is you can look at them here including your prestige weapons now there is a little bit of a glitch in season one right now where it doesn't show all three but don't worry we did get the third prestige the mx9 heartless all right that's a wrap i hope you enjoyed the top five things that i found in season one of call of duty mobile see you next time